Hey gang, me, James Healy Jr. We're gonna talk about scenes, breaking down your scenes. Um, hopefully a short video. I know some of my other videos have been too long and I apologize. First of the disclaimer, nothing I say is written in stone. Nothing I say is the way you have to do something. This is merely, I guess cathartic for me, but in some ways I hope is helpful to you uh, especially beginners, people starting out in this industry or starting out in acting, whether it's theater, film, commercials, industrials, uh, to take some tips that you may try or not try. As I've said in the past, I've, I've studied all the methods, all the techniques, I've, I've read tons and tons of books, and nothing from any of them specifically say this is the only way you have to do something. So you have to draw upon each teacher, professor, director, writer, fellow actor, anyone you know, draw upon the things that they do, that you see, that work for you. Yes, you need to read uh, Stanislavski, uh, Chekhov, who was a student of Stanislavski. Um, I have a good friend named uh, Kathy Rankin, who did a book, and I have it. It's called uh, How to Book uh, Jobs on TV and Film, uh, Kathy Rankin. The three books that I keep with me uh, all the time, though, are these books. Stella Adler, The Art of Acting. You know, Stella and Lee Strasberg um, and uh, Meisner all work together. The other one is Sanford Meisner, um, you know, on acting, a good book. Uh, again, part of the, uh, the original threesome that so many of us love and follow. Lastly, and this is the book that, and I don't have the paper cover on it anymore, I've had it for so long, this is the book that many people call the Bible, um, and it is the book that I love and respect tremendously. It is Uta Hagen's Respect for Acting. I just, with all the study and everything I ever did throughout the years, when I read her book and I read chapter to chapter to chapter, I went ding, 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 the light went off. Something just made sense. <sighs> Here's what I do. Again, what I do. I get an audition. I read the script five times, minimum of three, if I have to get it turned around really fast, but five times. The first time I read everything from exterior, home, we see Johnny's car in the driveway, the dialogue, to the asides or director's note or writer's notes where they say he nods, she sets the book down, he hands her a glass. The second time I read it, I read the dialogue with those asides. He nods, she sets the book down, he hands her a glass. The third time I read it, again, the first time is just, you're not an actor, okay? The first time you are literally just uh, a person enjoying the written word, like you would a book, all right? The second time you're starting to get a feel for those questions that we're gonna discuss in a minute. Uh, third, and we're not going to do all the questions because, again, the tape would go too long. Uh, third time, you're getting an idea of, again, who your character is and what the scene is about, and you start making further choices. That's why I do it a minimum of three times. The fourth time I read the script is when I read just the dialogue, and that's when I really start making my choices. Again, I'll discuss those in just a second. And the fifth time, is for my memorization skills. I literally read just the cue line of the other actor and then my line. So I can start working on the cue and my response. Um, again, you wanna be an active listener, which means you don't wanna just wait for your cue, but you need to know what your cue is. So the fifth time is literally just me. If it's, if it's one, wor one or two words or it's a short sentence, um, you know, Bob says, well, that's what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll read the whole sentence as my cue. But if there's a whole paragraph and the end of it is, that's what I'm talking about, then that's all I need to remember. That's what I'm talking about. It's my turn to speak. I'm listening, I'm paying attention, I'm reacting, and then I emote with my, my dialogue back. So that's the five times I read a script as minimum. That's for an audition. Once you book the, the job, I hope you'll read the script more and more and more. Here are the basics for me, again, for me, when I do this. Who am I? Who am I in this scene? Who is this character? A lot of times I play cops, doctors, reporters, and stuff. So let's just take a script that I had here a while back. He's a private investigator. He's former military, all right? Um, 
He probably, in my opinion, was a cop. So I'm gonna make him a retired police officer, military police officer, now he's a private investigator. That's who I am. Where am I in the scene? In this scene, a woman is coming to me to ask for me to help her do something. And it's in a coffee shop. So my environment is in a coffee shop. So I'm gonna play the scene a little different than I would if we were in my office. Because she's gonna ask me to do something in this scene. She's going to ask me to help make a person disappear. And it's not till the end that I find out that it's her that she, that she wants to make disappear, which is the funny little plot twist at the end of the scene. So again, who am I? I am a former military police officer, now private investigator. I am in a cafe meeting with a woman. Who is that woman? Well, in this case, she is a woman unknown to me, but her brother and I fought together in the war. <clears throat> so, who am I? Where am I? And who is she? What do I want? What is my objective? I may have an overall objective in the scene, I may have immediate objectives as the scene goes, and my objective may change. My overall objective in this scene is I want her to hire me to do this job. My immediate objective is I want her to like me. I want her to want to work with me. Since she's a sister of a former military buddy, I want to be her friend, maybe. Okay? Again, these are choices that you make. This is your homework. This is where you scribble all those notes on the script. And I admit, I used to be one of those people that scribbled all those notes. I don't really do that anymore. It's, it's more specific now. So who am I? Where am I? Who is the other character? What do I want? What do they want? What is our relationship? Those are your basic things you need to know. Who am I? I'm a guy that's a former military police officer, private investigator. Who is she? She's the brother of a former military, an individual who wants to hire me. What does she want? She wants me to do something for her as a private investigator. What do I want? I want her to hire me. And then again, my objective throughout the scene may, may change a little bit. And where are we? And where are we is important. Again, who you are, what you want, who they are, what they want, what is your relationship? Those are all important things. But that environment, especially on a scene like this, becomes very important. Because one of the lines is, how do you make somebody disappear? Well, you don't just do that in a coffee shop. Again, if we were in my office, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But in a coffee shop, you want to make sure you acknowledge your environment by saying, you know, I want to make somebody disappear. You don't go, well, I want to make somebody disappear. You go, I want to make somebody disappear. You lower your volume. The, one of the wait staff is walking by. So you go, well, I want, I want to make somebody disappear. Or again, just a look to the aside. I need to make somebody disappear. So that's it. I'm going to keep it short and simple. Who you are, where you are, what is your objective, who are they? What is their objective? Does the objective change? And what is your relationship? If you'll do those few basic things for before you start working on your scene, as well as reading your script multiple times, I think you'll vastly improve your auditioning skills. If you like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me as James Healy Actor on Instagram. Take care.